What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to identify rankings for a list of keywords with our super simple Google Rank Checker bot. You'll be able to track and understand how your or somebody else's website ranks for a collection of keywords. You can look up results by location, language, and even device type. The bot not only returns your domain's rankings, but also provides the top Google search result for your keywords, which can come in handy when trying to identify per keyword competition. Now, I know that there are dozens, if not hundreds of SaaS services that help you do that, and many good ones, by the way, but most, if not all of them, require monthly subscription payments and are overloaded with extra features that you probably are never going to use. So unless you're tracking thousands and thousands of keywords on a daily basis, I don't really see the point of overpaying for such services when you can use something really simple like the script that I'm going to show you right now. You can find the bot by using the search navigation. Just type in rank checker. There you have it. Click on the link. On the bots page, you can find a very thorough description of how to use the bot, how the bot works, troubleshootings, and so on and so forth. Make sure to go ahead and read that, but I know you're not going to, so I'm going to walk you through the whole process and click the start bot button. We're on the job creation page, and the first thing that you will need to do is name your job. Let's name it rank checker demo. Depending on the search result page you're looking to parse, you can tune the bot with these additional settings. For example, you can specify the user agent's location, you can specify the language of the SERP, you can specify the device and the operating system. This comes in very handy for location-specific keywords. My requests are going to be US specific, so I'm not going to change anything. In fact, I'm going to leave everything as is. And now you need to specify the domain name for which the bot will identify keyword positions. As I said previously, it can be your domain name or it can be your competitor's domain name, for example. The bot will always return two types of results. First, it will return the keyword position for this particular domain name that you will specify during this step. And secondly, the bot will return the top page for that particular keyword. So for this video, I'm just going to put in amazon.com. And now let's see how Amazon ranks for these keywords. iPhone case, iPad case, gamer keyboard, and by road microphone. Let's move on to the next configuration block. As you can see, you can run this bot once or schedule it to run periodically. If you're tracking keywords on a regular basis, this is a pretty handy option. But for this video, I'm going to run the bot only once. Next, you can set up notifications. For example, you can send yourself an email when the bot is done processing the task. You can also tick this box and ask the bot to attach the output file to the email. You can also use other notification options such as Slack, Telegram, Webhook or Zapier if you're building some complex automation, for example. Now, I'm not going to do anything like that, I'm going to disable all notifications and looks like we're ready to launch the job. So let's click this big green start this bot button and wait for the bot to create the job. So as you can see, the bot created the job. While we're waiting for the bot to complete the job, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're into automation tutorials. Okay, the bot is done. Let's click the view data button and look at our data. As you can see, these are pretty competitive keywords and Amazon is doing pretty good, surprisingly. It ranks second for the iPad case, third for the iPhone case, first for gamer keyboard and eighth for by road microphone keyword. Here are the links to the relevant pages. And in these two columns, you can find the competitors who are ranking number one for the sad keywords. You can now download the data by clicking on these icons here, open this file in your Google Sheets or click on this button right here to make this page public and send it to whoever.
Okay, now this was a pretty short tutorial and I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to click on that like button and I'll see you in the next video.